Today we are demonstrating the 6.5 Creedmoor using Alliant Reloader 17. The charge was 41.5 grains of Reloader 17 and a 130 grain Nosler Acubond projectile. The ballistic coefficient is .488 and these projectiles are designed to mushroom but stay together. If you replay the 200 yard hit you will see a right to left wind. In still conditions any change can mess with shot placement along with bad form, flinching, etc. The 41.5 grain Reloader 17 gives a velocity of 2775 feet per second in this Tika TAC A1 with a 24 inch barrel. Let's see how we do on the 6 inch plate at 300 yards. These are really excellent conditions for Vernon because the majority of the time at Vernon the wind can be challenging to say the least. Something to think about regarding velocity. The faster an object is going, the less it is affected by gravity or other external forces. That being said, you can load ammunition to provide less recoil, less wear on cartridge cases, and still have a predictable path to the target. I see many content creators cratering primers going to excessive pressures to get the maximum out of a cartridge. If you want 6.5-284 velocities out of a 6.5 Creedmoor, might be time to get a 6.5-284. So we're out to 600 yards. We're going to do a 10 shot group on the target on the left using that 41.5 grains of Reloader 17 and the 130 grain Acubons. Recoil is modest and muzzle velocity once again is 2775 feet per second. This is very exciting that we're actually able to capture a typical situation that happens at Vernon National at 600 yards. Down at the 2 and 400, the impacts indicated the wind was pushing the shots off to the left. You get up to 600 yards, the first shot was fairly well centered. And then all of a sudden, we've had a shift in the wind to where now we're about an MOA or six inches to the right is where the impacts are hitting. This is a very typical situation that happens at Vernon because if you have a westerly or a northwesterly wind, that area up there is sheltered by trees. So it's not uncommon for you to have complete opposite directions of uh, wind at the 600 yard line. The sooner you react to those actual impacts on the target, the better off you are. Because once I saw that they were starting to go off to the right there, I just held about a minute of angle to the left, 
and we were able to tighten that group up a little bit better on the target. And you can tell there's plenty of energy on the target at 600 yards. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you are a new viewer and hit the notification bell to be notified of future videos.